Golf is a sport of technique and repetition. Being able to consistently test a club, ball, or swing pattern is incredibly valuable. This is a difficult process because people are inherently inconsistent and don't reproduce movements very effectively. However, properly built mechanical joints and movements are the same every time and have the ability to tune the swing to the specific values needed for the test. For this reason, we wanted to create a robot capable of consistently striking a golf ball. We began with a simple scaled prototype consisting of a low voltage electric motor on a non-adjustable mount and a wooden golf club used to strike a plastic golf ball. This proof of concept gave us enough confidence to move forward and build our robot full scale. For our full size bot, we chose a pre-built extremely heavy hardened steel table that could act as our base and not move when the club swung. We chose an available electric motor with enough torque to swing our club with significant club head speed, but also be a safe first iteration. To hold the club on the motor, we created a club mount system that consists of fastening the club to the plate with U-volts so it can't fly off mid-rotation. Because there are many different types of golf clubs, we needed an adjustable swing plane angle. This was achieved through a system of slides and hinges that adjust the club from shallow angles for drivers to steep angles for irons. In order to achieve a reproducible swing, we created a device to hold the club in the same place every time. When the motor turns on, the rod retracts and avoids the follow through of the club. To hold the ball, we built an adjustable tee that after the ball is struck, falls below the club's low point to avoid being struck again. To control our motor, we used an Arduino microcontroller that turns on a relay, an electric switch that will allow power to flow. Unfortunately, the Arduino can't handle the current or voltage we are sending to our motor. So we actually use the Arduino's relays to engage an additional set of relays, allowing our full 50 volts to power the swing. To test our robot, we analyze the hitting distance of a driver versus a 7 iron. Using the Vernier motion tracking application, we were able to analyze the swing of the golf club, ball contact, and the flight path. This software also allowed us to calculate a predicted flight and distance to compare to the data we collected. In addition, we were able to analyze the deceleration of the club through impact. The first result we saw with the 7 iron was the club head speed at 14 meters per second and the ball speed at 18 meters per second. This showed us that, on average, the ball left the club 28% faster than the club was traveling at impact. We also did projectile motion predictions based on the initial velocity of the ball. Our distance prediction ended up being within one yard of the actual average distance data we collected. An additional advantage we discovered with our robot was its incredible shot reproducibility we were able to consistently hit a 6-inch target from 25 feet away. Overall, we designed and built a robot capable of repeatable and accurate shots within a 40-yard range. Watch out, Tiger. We're coming for you.